Joshua Rousey is the general manager of Diamond Cab in Myrtle Beach. He says Uber is responsible for their deteriorating business. It's been on decline for the past year, year and a half, and it's down about 40% right now. Under state law, Uber can now operate legally in South Carolina. But because it's called a transportation network company, not a taxi or a cab, it's not obligated to follow the same laws as Diamond Cab Company. We don't mind competition because it makes better business for everybody, but it has to be on a level playing field. You've got a situation where, you know, Uber is, these are contract drivers, so they're, um, they're not employees, they're, and, and their cost of doing business is almost nothing, and the taxi cab folks are getting, getting hammered, you know, and they played by the rules. Rousey says he took their complaints right to city council, and on Tuesday, council members started discussing ways to make it fair for cab companies in the city. And see what we can do with what we regulate and what our fees and charges are. Uh, so that they can have a little bit more of a, play, uh, of, a, of a level playing field. City ordinance requires cab companies to purchase a certificate to operate, pay yearly fees on each vehicle, and have them inspected throughout the year. Rousey says if you add insurance and background checks for drivers, it costs about $5,000 a year to have a driver and cab on the road. Let's do what you're supposed to do. Do the way it was set up to protect uh, people from doing stuff like this, and now it seems like it's just happening anyway.